Reich Geared Hammer, Wikipedia Audio Reich Geared Hammer, a German physician, was the originator of Germanic New Medicine, also formerly known as German New Medicine and New Medicine, a system of pseudomedicine that purports to be able to cure cancer. The Swiss Cancer League described Hammer's approach as dangerous, especially as it lulls the patients into a false sense of security, so that they are deprived of other effective treatments. Hammer held a license to practice medicine from 1963 until 1986, when it was revoked for malpractice. Hammer's system came to public attention in 1995, when the parents of a child suffering from cancer refused medical treatment in favor of Hammer's methods. Hammer was charged with malpractice and convicted in several European countries. Hammer claimed that his method is a Germanic alternative to mainstream clinical medicine, which he claimed is part of a Jewish conspiracy to decimate non-Jews. Biography Reich Geard Hammer was born in Metman in 1935. He received his high school diploma at age 18 and started medical and theological studies in Tübingen, where he met Sigrid Oldenburg, a medical student who later became his wife. At age 20, he passed the preliminary examination in medicine, married a year later, and completed his theological examinations at 22. He and his wife had two children. In April 1962 Hammer passed his medical state examination in Marburg and he was granted a professional license as a doctor of medicine in 1963. There followed a number of years at the university clinics of Tübingen and Heidelberg, and in 1972, Hammer completed his specialization in internal medicine. He also worked in several practices with his wife, and he patented several inventions. Hammer's license to practice medicine was revoked in 1986 by a court judgment in Germany, which was reconfirmed in 2003. As he continued to treat patients, Hammer was investigated several times on allegations of malpractice and the death of patients. He was jailed for 12 months in Germany from 1997 to 1998, and served a prison term from September 2004 to February 2006 in Fleury Maragis, France, on counts of fraud and illegal practicing. He subsequently lived in voluntary exile in Spain until March 2007 where Spanish doctors held him responsible for several tens of preventable deaths. In 1997 he owned clinics in Germany, Belgium, Italy, Austria, and the Netherlands. First Law, Severe diseases originate from a shock event which is experienced by the individual as very difficult, highly acute, dramatic, and isolating. The shock's psychological conflict content determines the location of the appearance of a focus of activity in the brain that can be seen in a CT scan as a set of concentric rings, called hammer foci, which correspond to the location of the disease in the body. The subsequent development of the conflict determines the development of both the brain focus and the disease, 2ND law. A patient who has not solved their conflict is in the first, active conflict phase, where the sympathetic nervous system predominates and which manifests as a cold disease accompanied by cold skin and extremities, stress, weight loss, and sleep disorders. If they manage to resolve the conflict, they enter a second, post-resolution healing phase, in which the parasympathetic nervous system predominates commonly diagnosed as a separate warm disease. This second phase is the one which usually entails more risks, and a complete cure only comes upon its completion. In some circumstances, not solving the conflict but downgrading it to a reasonably livable level may be preferable than facing the second phase, 3RD law. 
Hammer proposes that disease progression is primarily controlled by the brain, either by the old brain or the new brain. The old brain controls more primitive processes, having to do with basic survival, such as breathing, eating, and reproduction, whereas the new brain manages more advanced personal and social issues, such as territorial conflicts, separation conflicts, and self-devaluation and identity conflicts. Hammer's research is tied to the science of embryology because he links the type of disease progression whether involving tissue augmentation, tissue loss, or functional impairment with the embryonic germ layer from which both the organ tissues and the corresponding brain regions originate. Conflicts which have their focus either in the brain stem or the cerebellum show cell multiplication in the conflict active phase, and destruction of the resulting tumors in the healing phase. Cerebrum directed conflicts show either cell decrease or function impairment or interruption in the active phase, and the replenishment of the damaged tissues in the healing phase, for th law. Microbes do not cause diseases but are used by the body, coordinated by the brain, to optimize the healing phase, provided that the required microbes are available when needed. Fungi and mycobacteria work on tissues that originated in the endoderm, as well as on some of the tissues originating in the mesoderm. Bacteria work on all mesoderm-derived tissues and viruses on ectoderm-derived ones. Hammer maintains that these microbes, rather than being antagonistic to the body, actually perform a necessary role in healing, and that some of the interventions of conventional medicine are counterproductive, by interfering with these natural processes, 5th law the conflict active phase and the healing phase of diseases, as described above, constitute special meaningful programs of nature, developed during the evolution of the species, to allow organisms to override everyday functioning in order to deal with particular emergency situations. Later he apparently moved to Norway. On August 8, 1978, Hammer's son, Dirk, was shot by the son of the last king of Italy, Vittorio Emmanuel of Savoy, while asleep on a yacht off Cavallo and died on December 7, 1978. Sometime after Dirk's death, Hammer began to develop Germanic new medicine, which can be summarized in its five biological laws. Therefore, according to Hammer, no real diseases exist, rather, what established medicine calls a disease is actually a special meaningful program of nature to which bacteria, viruses, and fungi belong. Hammer's GNM claims to explain every disease and treatment according to those premises, and to thereby obviate traditional medicine. The cure is always the resolving of the conflict. Some treatments like chemotherapy or pain-relieving drugs like morphine are deadly according to Hammer. These laws are dogmas of GNM, not laws of nature or medicine, and are at odds with scientific understanding of human physiology. Hammer was associated with the Olivia Pillar cancer case in 1995. Pillar, then aged six, suffered from Wilms tumor. Fearing the painful conventional therapy, the parents consulted Hammer. He diagnosed no cancer but instead several conflicts. The parents refused conventional medical therapy for Pillar. The Austrian government finally removed their rights of care and control, and the parents fled from Austria to Spain with their daughter, where Hammer was present too. There they followed Hammer's instructions how to treat their child. After negotiations including the intervention of the Austrian president, the parents were persuaded to return to Austria. By then, Pillar's health had deteriorated. The tumor had grown very large, weighing 4 kilograms, 
filling most of her abdominal cavity and was pressing against her lungs. The lack of treatment had reduced the estimate of survival probability from 90% to 10%. After a court ordered conventional cancer treatment with surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy was applied. Pillar recovered completely and was still alive in 2010. Her parents received an eight-month suspended jail sentence in Austria. Hammer purported that his method is a Germanic alternative to mainstream clinical medicine which he claimed is part of a Jewish conspiracy to decimate non-Jews. In this Hammer follows the anti-Semitic Neue Deutsche Heilkund propagated in Nazi Germany. More precisely, he asserted that chemotherapy and morphine are used to mass murder Western civilization, while such treatment is not used in Israel where nearly no people die of cancer, according to him. He promoted the idea that most oncologists in Germany are Jewish and that no Jew is treated with chemotherapy in Germany. According to him, Hypodermic needles are used during chemotherapy to implant chips containing chambers of poison that can be activated by satellite to specifically kill patients. He proposed that the swine flu vaccination campaign of 2009 was also used to mark people with those chips and denies the existence of HIV. Hammer also believed that the denial of recognition of his theories and the revocation of his practitioner's license is due to a Jewish conspiracy. Germanic New Medicine In 2008, Hammer presented a document where one chief rabbi Esra Ewan Gotz confirmed the existence of a conspiracy among Jewish oncologists to use the torture of chemotherapy on all non-Jewish patients while Jewish patients were to receive the correct treatment of GNM. Iwan Gotz is a German Holocaust denialist active in the German Reich revivalism scene who has been repeatedly convicted by German courts on counts of Holocaust denial, fraud, defamation, misuse of academic titles, falsification of documents, among others. The Swiss Cancer League of the Swiss Society for Oncology, Swiss Society for Medical Oncology and Swiss Institute for Applied Cancer Research say that no case of a cancer cure by Hammer has been published in the medical literature, nor any studies in specialized journals. Reports in his books lack the additional data that are essential for medical assessment and the presentations of his investigations at medical conferences are scientifically unconvincing. Also, the German Cancer Research Center, the German Cancer Society, the German Medical Association and German Consumer Council strongly disagree with Hammer. Proponents of alternative cancer treatments also regard his theory skeptically and argue for supportive evidence and proven patient cases. Hammer's habilitation thesis about the GNM at the University of Tübingen was rejected after multiple examinations by several members of the medical faculty, who came to the conclusion that his work lacks scientific methods and reproducibility and his arguments do not back up his theories. Hammer said that his system is verifiable and that the University of Trnava and others have already confirmed some of his theories. In fact, the University of Trnava has no real medical faculty and the documents which allegedly confirm his view are not available and registered at the university. The Trnava University also rejected his habilitation thesis. The hammer foci that Hammer saw in the brain CTS are identified by radiologists as common ring artifacts. Olivia Pillar Case Jewish Conspiracy Theory The medical establishment in Germany and the European Union warns of the threat posed to patients by Hammer's therapies. If effective treatment is neglected, the applying of Hammer's theories is punishable in some countries as malpractice. Response to Medical Views Publications
There are ongoing press reports of victims of Hammer's practice throughout Europe.